Okay, Dick. You should be able to speak now. Hey, chat room. I hear you. <laughs> All right, so chat room. Let me see. You, uh, <laughs> let me see. Uh, oh, you see me. All right. Uh, when the past, present, and future go camping, always argue. It's tense, intense. Hey. Hi, Dr. Mom, redacted. G. Scott. <laughs> yeah, I. I don't know. Did Leah said they wanted to pay me something? Because I've never been paid. That would be that would be something. Anyway, I heard him say "s dick." I know zero. Uh, 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 bars. Oh, you guys don't see those things. Okay. Um. Mm -mm. Hey, Osnet. <laughs> Uh, dun, hi, Mr. Giz Fizz. Yeah. Oh, there we are. There we are. Wow. Wow. We're seeing weird things. Yeah, I'm routing the video. Oh, okay. Uh, and we have a chat room celebrity of the week. Can you believe it? Oh, I put batteries in mine. Let me just find out what I should use. Uh, 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 let me practice. All right. <clears throat> dun, bum, bum. I don't think there's an official time yet it's after twig but yeah leo mm -hmm. keeps saying he's going to shorten the length of twig <laughs> and then you know that hasn't come to pass yet <laughs> i see okay. i'm anticipating that it will be we will be ready to do uh fizz by five my time oh okay eight o'clock new york time yeah okay all right i think this is episode 502 Episode 502, is that what that says? That says 500. November 19th. November 19th. All right. I've got the recordings. No, I don't. I only had one of the two recordings. Now, here we are in the rerun land for this evening's reruns. Um, all right. I think I'm ready. I got both recordings going. Are you ready, Mr. D. Bartolo? I am. Yes, sir. And uh, Mr. Ackerman has joined me, but he's not sending video. So uh, I we will get him to send video before we speak to him. Oh, the surprise chat room celebrity of the week. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll ha we'll have video in a minute. Is that what you're saying? Well, no. He's connected to me on Skype, but he's not sending video. So oh, okay. If you're listening, uh, Gregory, uh, start your video. I presume you intended to do a video interview with us. Yeah, I told him it was video. Okay, so um, let us start the show. Let me think. I got the recordings. You know, I've got the recording running. What else? I don't need anything else, right? Oh, I should make sure that this thing will play when I actually want to start the show. That would be that would be a good thing. Okay, I like to I like to make sure I can see myself. I can't see myself. Uh, at some point, I'll go over and turn my camera on. I think my camera had got turned off. But until then, this is. Regular old fashioned Giz Fizz. We're gonna have to come up with a different name. Regular old we call it new and improved, but you know it really won't be. We the regular <laughs> old fashioned Giz Fizz, episode five hundred and two, recorded on November nineteenth, twenty twenty two. And it begins in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for It's the Giz Fizz. With the Giz Whiz, it's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Oh, wow, the double hop. I love it. 
And now we've given the crickets the day off because we have an actual chat room celebrity of the week. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Gregory Ackerman. Uh, where's my... Oh, I should have hid this so you didn't know there wasn't a live band here. Uh, okay. And uh, Gregory, do you have video available? Are you available, Gregory? Do you have audio available? Either. Or we prefer both. Huh? Gregory, are you there? Hmm. Speak. Oh, no. Our first chat room celebrity of the week in a very long time. And we do not hear or see... Oh, oh we, were boo. So close. we were so close. So close. Uh, did you send the crickets home? No, but they, they, they don't want to interrupt uh, Gregory. <laughs> uh, Gregory, are you with us? I mean, he, he, a, a moment ago, he was chatting with me in uh, Skype chat. And now, um, okay, I don't know. Uh, all right, so we'll do the photos, and maybe you in the he, background, you can... He keeps saying hello in Skype chat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hello. Uh, hang on a minute. I have to slide over and get something here. And here. <laughs> Elevator music start by... Um... Wow, look, said we have celebrity chat every week. It's Dick D. Bartolo, ladies and gentlemen. Um, all right. Should I do the fun fact question so you don't have to use anything in the control room for the beginning? You know, no, I can do, I can do the pictures easy enough. Yeah, but, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do pictures from George Davis that you caption. And here is photo number one. Oh, my God. It's a cat looking really serious. A big cat outdoors looking none too pleased. Okay. So your caption can be whatever you like. Get off my lawn. Uh, what are you doing in the choir? I'm at my church choir, and I'm a tenor. Morris looking at you. I'm watching you. What did you do this time, Morris? Okay, which dog pooped in my sandbox? Uh, wow, God, they're going so fast. Morris gives you the stink eye. Uh, let's come back to our chat room celebrity later in the show. Morris the cat out of retirement. What did you call me? What do you mean you have no cat food, yellow cat? I is not your cat. I'm going to get you today, Jerry. Uh, did you say you, who, did I say you could leave? Do not cross me, I'm fearless. Did you get a, did you get a photo, my cat? How did you get a photo? Um, every neighborhood has this cat. Merce Angel, Soprano. Oh, that's a different conversation. <laughs> okay. Um, where's the Meow Mix? Did I hear a can of tuna being opened? What do you mean we're out of Friskies? Bionic Morris. <laughs> Redacted said this is the cat after hearing Gizwiz is moving to Wednesdays. Um, Tony Soprano. Don't even think about it. And we'll end with Caesar. This is my turf. Don't you forget it. Uh, okay, photo two. 
is photo two is this one. Photo two. A man, okay, it's a cartoon man with arms outstretched, and he has a huge Pinocchio nose lined with birds. Okay, man with outstretched arms, a huge Pinocchio nose lined with birds, and I foretell a lot of of answers with a certain word in it and now i'll look up that new twitter logo there they are uh first job elron talking lying about the success of the bluebirds of twitter i'm going to lie about how much i love birds again tell more lies pinocchio we have more bird family coming twitter ad i lied about the birds do it yourself nose job birds with no wire Wow, he's serious about bird watching. Yes, it's easy to slip. Twitter under the new CO. Birds are not real. Pinocchio as an adult has gone to the birds. Bird knows the new Twitter. Looks like this guy has a lot of confessing to do. Twitter lies abound. Try to eat these birds, cat. This knows, knows, no birds. This knows, no, this knows, knows birds. And we'll end with Twitter in the old days. Uh, Dan O'Ban. Okay. And now photo three from George Davis. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm not reading George's caption so sorry uh photo one this cat with a serious look on its face george said let me tell you guys don't worry about how spiders i'll take care of them they are high in protein uh photo two the cartoon man with outstretched arms and birds george said my caption is i'm telling the truth really i am i caught a fish this long last weekend and now photo three uh photo three is a group of men um and they're holding their pants up and they're all wearing wildly covered striped socks five men pants hiked up to show they are colored stripe socks uh where's the flood floods we have a theme going there ankles away well that's funny don't look at my crotch stripe the striped so club find the ones that do not match first meeting of the urkel club coming up to a mud puddle Note that each man is wearing matching socks. Well, that's an interesting observation. Um, the League of Where's Waldo Sock Society. Shorts New Fashion with Colors of the Week. Alpha Thigh Socks Fraternity. Sock Thief Lineup. Uh, Secret Rainbow Sock Cult. Where's the Clown Car? Ten legs compete in the NBC Peacock contest, says Jim Reed. It's Crazy Sock Day on the Giz Fizz. It's our only Christmas decoration. You have nothing on us, Justin Trudeau. A step up, and we'll end with Twisted Mister. Witness at the Whirlpool Product Defect Trial. Uh, okay, George said, for five men with their pant legs rolled up, my caption is, I can't believe we all bought socks from different stores and at different times. How strange is that? Uh, okay, photo four. Ooh, spider web. Looks like we're outdoors and the spider web is 
in some rotten wood, but it's whatever you want. Spider web, rotten wood, outdoors, World Wide Web versions 1.0, the interweb, 1930, 1995, the original web, spider graffiti. I'm not looking, says Becky. There's no spider, Becky, that I can see. Uh, walk into this web. Um, Spider-Man's first try. Charlotte's out drinking again. Web gone wild. Fly trap. I'm hiding from that cat. World Wide Web in the year 2100. If you lived here, you'd be home now. Am I late for Halloween? Gives one, asked the same question I have. Where's the spider? Gotcha. Designed for my new tattoo. DK dot board. Prototype of the internet. Didn't Al Gore spin that web? And we'll end with... Uh, come into my polis, said the spider to the fly. Okay, George said, for the spider web, my caption is, I went out early today and saw this frozen web. I ran, got my camera, and took this shot. Okay, photo five. Oh, wow. Shells of old-timey radios. A sh two, a couple, several shelves of old-time radios. Okay, radioactive. First version of TVs. Uh, who are you calling old? <laughs> None of these will get on the tech guy in 2023. Radio Alley 2022. White noise generators, Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Remember CD triangles on a radio dial? What station do you listen to? Somewhere in Disneyland. Top shelf radio department at Montgomery Ward. Oh, my God. One half of the shelves looks like a mirror image of the other. Oh, you know, you're absolutely right. Oh, it is. It is the same. That's very good. Whoever said that? Uh, my dad had that radio on the upper right. Still waiting for new tubes. These are the only way I can listen to my old radio shows. Where'd the USB plug go? AM Jam. Weird mirror. Yes, it is a weird mirror. And we'll end with Waldorf. Oh, Martron uh, says they only pick up broadcasts from the past. And Waldorf said, real radio glows like these. Uh, whoever uh, picked that up, it is, it's interesting. They are the same radios arranged on different shelves. George said, for shelves of old radios, my caption is, give me an amount you'll play for, pay for which radio, if I like your offer, Take the radio, I'll give you $2 off your offer because I'm a nice guy. Okay, and our final photo. Photo, oh my God. Oh, all right. If you don't know, if you're not watching and just listening, you're missing out. This is a chocolate cake, a, a chocolate strawberry shortcake okay three layers two layers of strawberries three layers of chocolate and chocolate on top oh i know okay let me look up uh myra's appetizer insulin five dollars extra mud cake with strawberries but strawberries are out of season now i'm hungry for strawberry cake yummy a chocolate cake burger, a berry nice cake, tasty and almost healthy. Dick's dream last night, my little pony favorite dessert. 
strawberry long cake. Uh, although I'm deathly allergic to chocolate and strawberries, says Myra. You want a slice, I'm thinking. I need my insulin, and I'm not even a diabetic. There's one too many strawberries. I'm watching my diet. Is this gluten-free? I'm going to start charging George for extra doctor visits. His his pictures motivate me to snack. Did I see that thing move? Another that cake looks very good. Wait till the mouse jumps out and we'll end with Magoo 2, the new Whopper for diabetes. Okay. And George says, for chocolate and strawberry layer cake, my caption is, this is our most requested cake. We sell between 200 and 250 each week. And you can see why just by looking at it. In New York City, that cake would probably be about $100 uh, at a bakery called Greenberg's. Uh, okay. Uh, any luck with our video call or are we just moving on? No, no, he's here. Oh, okay. But I haven't been able to speak to him. Uh, okay. But we can talk to him and see if we can get his audio working when we uh, okay very say good hi to him okay gregory are you there uh we see you but we don't hear you now so do you have a microphone something's muted i i he can hear us he can he can clearly hear us okay but uh, unless he selects his microphone, we won't be able to hear him. Oh, we're getting there. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. So we are not hearing you. Gregory, do a thumbs up. You hear us? All right. We do not hear you. So apparently he uh, he doesn't know how to select his microphone, or maybe he does not have a. Well, presumably if you got a camera, you got a microphone. Yeah. Sometimes if it's a camera that's separate from your computer, then it should have. Uh, you could select the camera as the microphone. Um, okay. Well, uh, do you know American Sign Language? <laughs> uh, well, I don't, but uh, maybe somebody does. Uh, and you're sure you're not muted? Somewhere there's just... You don't All have right. a microphone with a line through it, do you? Okay, so here, here's what you can do. Maybe we can do this next weekend. Um, call. There's a number you can call. Echo123. That's a Skype number. You call Echo123. And that is how you test your microphone. So keep calling Echo 123 until you figure out how to turn on your microphone. And uh, do you have a whiteboard? You can give us a message with a grease pencil. <laughs> All right. Um, so I, okay. I think it's time. Oh, he, he said, wait, wait. Somebody's coming to help. The door is opening. Oh, uh, uh, oh. oh it's Leo. Oh, no, it's Micah. Uh, someone was in another room watching. No, I think I, I saw him calling out to uh, oh, okay. calling oh, out okay. for help. Okay. He's there. Yeah, I, I, I'm guessing he has open speakers because I don't see him wearing headphones. So right. thank you, new guy, for coming in to help us out. Oh, it's, it's Rich Zemiro. <laughs> All right. Should we go on with fun facts and see if they get it done? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep okay. listening. If you if you're able to start talking, Gregory, uh, I will know right away, and then uh, I'll let Dick know, and we will talk to you. Okay. Excellent. All right. Fun food. I mean, fun facts about food. It's Patrick Norton says Demos. Um. 
Wow. Now, I don't know how anybody would know this, but what is the most stolen type of food in the world? Okay, George wrote it sort of as a match game question. It reads, blank is the most stolen food in the world. Um, you know, my, my answer would be bread. <laughs> Dr. Mon says potato chips. Caviar. Yeah, right. Uh, probably grapes, bananas, cheese, bread, bread, canned hams, eggs. <laughs> cruising class it's only there's some sort of a show you could phone in and get help um peanut butter hot tamales french fries sushi potato chips again could be steaks chewing gum jean valjeant no jamma b what would you think is the most stolen food in the world i'm going to say banana because i like to say banana okay well my answer is bread um cheese whiz no cheese is the most stolen type of food in the world there were several matches in the chat room that's so myra bizarre. joyce had cheese okay that's... my myra oh, she had... said banana <laughs> oh oh myra said banana okay sorry about that um uh cheese is often thought to be an american product but where was it invented cheese is thought to be an american product who thinks cheese was invented in america maybe american cheese well yes why do they call it that um oh i'm sorry processed cheese oh okay. is thought of okay uh, no, I, that does sound kind of american actually <laughs> yeah processed cheese is thought to be an american product but it was invented where <laughs> new jersey the, the the part of jersey that's not in america the the process was invented in new zealand uh corner fifth and main it was invented in an abandoned toyota plant denmark france canada france um belvita island <laughs> australia wow college dorm room jim v what's your answer processed uh, cheese is often thought of yeah yeah, uh, it's thought it was an American invention, but it was made, I'm going to say, uh, England, UK, the English Isles, because <laughs> uh, I want to be inclusive. Okay. okay. Bill in Michigan says, I still say Switzerland, and he is correct. Holy cheese. Uh, yeah. One out of every four grown hazelnuts ends up in what product? I, I actually I haven't used this product. One out of every four grown hazelnuts ends up in what product? Coffee creamer, Nutella, pie, Nutella. Oh, we know our Nutella, says Myra. Flavored coffee, hazelnut coffee, slingshots. <laughs> Rocher chocolates, hazel crayons, coffee flavoring, hazelnut toothpaste, squirrel burgers, Jamma B. You know, I, one I in four growing hazelnuts ends in what product? You know, I, I mean, people are saying Nutella. I'm presuming Nutella has hazelnuts in it. I can't. It seems like maybe a candy. I don't really know anything that has hazelnuts in it. 
Uh, well, the answer would be what the majority of the chat room yeah. says. The answer is Nutella. Now, is that like chocolate, right? So chocolate and hazelnut, I'm guessing. You know, I'm not even sure. Is and it, Nutella it, is it's like, it's like a, a peanut butter spread, it's right? It's Australian, is it? Or is it English? Yeah, I just, I don't know. Nutella, it's got to be good. It's like Almond Joy. It's hazel and filbert spread. Oh, with chocolate. Oh, you're right. It's hazelnut chocolate. I'm sure I would like it. <laughs> Sounds wow, good. Okay. Yeah, I like chocolate. I'm sure I like hazelnuts. Yeah. Dr. Mom said Nutella oh, is brown hazelnut butter. Vegemite. Oh, Vegemite is what I was thinking of. That's this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, right. I've not I've not heard anything from. Um... Well, we have one more fun fact. Yeah, we're still working over there. Okay, uh, pound cake got its name. Oh, okay. There's no question here. Oh, wait a minute. Anybody got an idea of why of how how pound cake got named pound cake? Let's make it into a question. Um. I don't know, because after the person baked it, it weighed a pound. That would be my thought. <laughs> it cost a pound. There. It, that's, but that would be expensive. It I think. weighs a pound. It's how much you gain from eating a slice. <laughs> because uh, two women... Three, oh, I don't, okay. Um, several people, Dr. Mom, Becky, Quincy, Morgus. Okay. Um, that makes pretty good sense, too. Yeah. A pound of cake get its, got, gets its name from the ingredients list. A pound of sugar, a pound of butter, and a pound of eggs. <laughs> that's pretty what? simple yeah that's pretty simple um george ends with uh everyone i hope we'll be back when we can do this again stay happy and healthy until then bye george uh, okay uh, 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 um so gregory uh, and his friend uh have brought in a mic a separate microphone and hooked it up uh but oh, they're okay. still they're still not having any luck um I uh I've not heard them. They they're that they're is, still they're still working on it. That is very weird. Um anyway, all right, so I, I, I guess we'll be there'll be five more giz fizzes, I think Leo said. Uh, and and in Jam is the studio closed uh from December eighteenth to the first of the year? Something like that. Yeah. I think they're okay. actually uh uh Maybe, I, I mean, I'm not exactly, we probably work a couple of days uh, before Christmas, because it's the okay. week between Christmas and New Year's that we're actually closed. Oh, close. So there might be, okay. there might be a day or two we have to, like Monday or Tuesday we have to, I don't, um, I, I, everybody filled out their, their timesheets for that week, last week, so I, I don't remember okay. exactly what days I took off. Anyway, so after the 18th, there'll be a Giz Fizz somewhere in January. On a uh, Wednesday. So no on Wednesday nights, yeah. Yeah. Uh it'll probably be uh if the the first is a Sunday, second, third, it'll be the fourth, fourth of January. Um all right, very good. I think that's the first uh, Wednesday. Oh, you guess uh, what? what? I have a picture. Okay. okay. This this is not our Christmas card. Yes. This is similar to our Christmas card, but I suspect that this is not going to be our Christmas card. Because look at Lisa. And oh, that's so funny. This is this is right <laughs> after Lily had escaped from Burke's arms, and you can see that I'm I'm trying to prevent Lily from jumping away. But yeah, oh, this is, oh okay. Yeah, this is this is I'm sure and look at Micah. I'm sure this will not be our Christmas card. We, oh we, oh my god. We took oh, several so versions funny. of this picture. But I wanted to share this one with the Gizfiz family because nobody it, else will see it. Oh, that's so. It, um, 
Is that Jason in the back with the Santa hat? Uh, yes, Jason and Micah have Santa hats. Oh, oh my God. Look at, look at, look at those. Yeah. That is a riot. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's, and there's Twit. Da -da. Okay. So now, was this the day you took your Christmas photo? Was that? Yeah, what that is? was Wednesday. Um, and I've got okay. a, I've got a, I'm, I, I intended to do this ahead of time. We uh, broadcast it live, but Anthony set the camera up far away and is pointing into the sun. So <laughs> well, at least we, you got the feel for what we were doing. Um, oh, okay. And I, I want to find the part where Leo start, startled Lily and Lily jumped out of Burke's hands and everybody got very excited about Lily jumping out of Burke's hands. Did she run away? No, but you oh, know, okay. she, you know, she, she like jumped onto the, the, the sidewalk, the, the curb and the, the ground there. And we were, you know, she was fine. Anyway, I'll see if I can find that little bit. Okay. Okay. Oh, we, we, speaking of dogs, there'll be no Charlie appearance today. Oh. Um, Charlie had a growth on like his elbow part of his front paw that was getting bigger and bigger. And so we had it, uh, we took him in and they sent out a sample and they just said, didn't say the C word, but they just said, you know, this should be removed. So Charlie was operated on Thursday, and while he was there, uh, the vet had prearranged it and said, you know, it's been like three years since we did his teeth. While he's under, we should also do his teeth. <laughs> it's so hard when a dog is under, you to worry so much. Um, anyway, he's fine. He had one day of not feeling very well, but... Um, he shouldn't be picked up and he shouldn't jump. So we're not going to let him do that today. Uh, but he's fine. Um, uh, anyway. All right. So today we're going to do an assortment of questions. A company that uses snack happy as their slogan. <laughs> yeah. Charlie does not floss, but he had no, uh, he had no, um, no teeth had to be removed, okay? Turned out it was just removing tartar and cleaning them. No extractions. So that was good. Com <laughs> company that uses Snack Happy, uh, redacted, the Snack Happy Company. Little Debbie, Slim Jims. Um, my kids wanted our dog to get a diamond in its tooth. Crap Foods, Donuts, Happy Jack, Jolly Time, Bacon Strips. No, I think, you know, I sort of knew this answer before I looked. I thought more people would know this. Uh, Jamma B, any guess? The company that uses Snack Happy as a slogan? You know, it sounds oh, familiar, got, I, but I, I don't. I don't remember. It is Nabisco. Nabisco. Uh, uh, um. Boy, I have no idea what that is of. All right. Does it make sense, anybody? We'll see what it says. Which of these is the name of the cartoon bird who became the mascot for a brand of cereal in 1963? I don't even understand the question. I guess the answer is there. Which of these is the name of a cartoon bird that became the mascot of a popular cereal in 1963? Oh wow! It looked. Did you know, Jamie B? Uh, the the chat room reminded me. Yes, it is. Toucan Sam. Wow. The names are Ronald Chester Jack, Charlie Godfrey, Sam something. 
I don't know. Which of these is the name of oh what's it, oh which one of these is the name of a cartoon fish? All right, they're just first names. Which one of these is the name of a cartoon fish? I'm getting it now. Uh, okay, Jamma B. Uh, I, 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 Charlie Tuna is uh, coming up in the chat room. The, is that tuna fish? You know, uh, as far as the card goes, you can tune a piano, but you can but tune you a fish. You can tune a fish. Yeah. <laughs> it is indeed Charlie the Tuna. Uh, I think we almost heard something. I think we heard something what? from Gregory. Are you guys there? I think we talk, talk. I think we heard you. Nope. No, must have heard something else. Sorry. They're working on it. They're still working on it. They're working. Okay, wait, very wait, good. Wait, wait, No, I heard. I, man, I thought I heard something. All right, we'll keep listening. If you, okay, come, very if you good. come through, we'll put you on. Which of these names is a brand mascot that has a ping pong ball? Was that them? Uh, I have not heard uh, oh, the Oh, did you audio. not hear that chime? Okay, I I'm, heard a I'm chime. Hearing, occasionally I'm hearing something, but I'm not hearing like words. Okay, okay. Uh, well, if they do syllables, we could put them together. Okay. Um, what's, you know, we, I guess we don't even need the name, but I'll put the card up again. Which of these is a brand mascot with a ping pong ball as a head? Ping pong ball is a head. God, I have no way. Ping pong ball as a head. Oh, 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 I think I know. I think I know. All right, hang on. Hang yeah. On. Yeah, I think the channel oh, knows too. Ha -ha. Yes. Oh, very good. Very good. What your answer, Jamma B, was? Remember when we got those and put them on our aerials? Oh, you never had a car. But there's no. these things for listening to radio that are on old cars that stuck up these metal uh, tiny cylinders. And you could put one of those styrofoam jack-in-the-box heads on your aerial for no good reason. I don't know. Okay, yeah, jack-in-the-box. Is that still around? Is jack-in-the-box still Oh, my still gosh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, they don't. Okay. They, they, they um, they don't have the uh, Jack in the Box. I mean, now it just says Jack. There's no, there's no clown at the where you drive through anymore. But of course, oh, okay. the spokesperson, their CEO Jack, is a clown. For real? Uh no, he's got the head, the animated head oh, oh, that oh, looks oh, like okay. there, oh. the, that old <laughs> ping pong ball. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was just a very funny person. Um, well, they are funny commercials. Uh, they're okay. One more. Well, if you find one, show it. Uh, one more, and I have no idea what it is. Which two of these names are the name of mascots that are wild cats? Which two of these names... Or mascots that are wild cats. Um, okay. You're getting the wow. All right. Jim and B, did you have any idea or is it that's too hard? Uh, I, 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 uh, I don't, I didn't look at the card. Oh, cat, okay. uh, uh, Chester is a cat. Um, yeah, a Chester. Wild I cat. Wild cat. Yeah, I'm going with Chester. I don't know the other. Okay. Oh, well, oh, is Chester. Tony? Is there a Tony? Let me see the card again. Yes, there is. Okay. It's Tony the Tiger and Chester Cheetah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheetos. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, very good. Chat room, that's very good. One of the mad guys, Bob, damn, Bob Jones, created Tony the Tiger. So he did very well with royalties. Uh, uh, um, I found this. Ooh. Don't know what it is, but let's look at it. It's, it looks, okay, it looks, let's. It looks kind of spooky. Ooh. Mr. Brad Haley. Relax. Did I win something? My sources tell me you've been calling Jack in the Box junk in the box. So? I take these things personally, Brad. Get lost. Sure, oh. just try my food, apologize, and I'll Listen, go. Be it, clown. Listen, punk. I've spent millions of dollars improving my kitchens to make our best burgers ever. You're psycho! <laughs> I don't think I've seen this. Oh, yeah. No, me either. Brad, you get to try my best burger ever, and all I want is your honest opinion. Tasty. Really? You're not just saying that because I'm kneeling on your spine? No, no, I shouldn't have dissed your food, man. I'm sorry, Jack. Well, I'm sorry about the grass stains. Really? No. <laughs> That's pretty good. It reminds me of Payday at Twit. <laughs> um wow okay that was very funny all right chat room uh god where's the time hey, going no, hey, um, hey oh no hey i found something what uh let's see let me let me uh, get this going here this okay is ddr3 and okay. can i zoom in on this a little this, this is uh oh it's not an me uh i can't i want to zoom in uh, so let me, uh, I'm going to real quick come over here and I'm going to put the DDR3. Oh, it is. It is an ME. There it is. So I should be able, yeah, here we go. Okay. So let's figure out what's going on. I think what happens is, see, Leo is behind Burke right there. And I think yeah. that, that Leo startles Lily. And that's why Lily, you know, gets startled. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, she just stays there. Wow. Yeah. Well, I didn't even see him look at Lily. Well, it's, it's something. It was when Leo walked away that Lily got yeah. excited. I don't think Burke's lawsuit's going to hold. <laughs> yeah, right, right on the on the on the parking lot. But Lily is fine. Lily is fine. Okay. Anyway. It might have been the hat, says Loke. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It might have been the hat. Um. All right, chat room. Okay, we do have enough time to do. Dun, dun, our, oh, wait a minute. Where's I get things together, and then by the time the show starts, I can't find them. Let me see if this is it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do snappy answers. Magoo sent this in. Okay, so we see a lady. In the living room, she's petting her cat. Okay. And the two people who just dropped in ask, is that your cat? Okay. Lady who lives in the house is petting her cat. And the two people who just dropped in said, is that your cat? All right. And you're... This old lady, <laughs> your old lady snappy retort is, no, it's my lover. No, it's not my house either. No, it's my hairpiece. <laughs> no, that's my son. No, I just rent him. No, I'm just petting her to generate static electricity to power the house. Oh, my God. No, I'm testing for sharp claws. No, it wandered in two. No, it's my mortician. No, it's Mike Hat. No, she followed you to win here. No, I'm a cat burglar. No, I'm cat sitting for you too. It's a statue of my late husband trained to be a god dog. It's my dinner. Oh my God. What I thought it was a rat. No, he fell out of a tree. I kidnapped one just for this moment. It's my dust rag. Uh, no, I'm not sure where it came from. What cat? No, it's my daughter's cat. 
Yes, it's a baby tiger. No, it's what for it, it's what's for dinner. I'm not a lady. No, insert Johnny Carson joke here. It's a fur ball storage closet. No, the witch next door did this to my husband. <laughs> no, I'm wearing the neighbor's cat. <laughs> this is very funny. Okaru said, no, it's a loner while mine is at the vet. That is very funny. A lot of it's tonight's dinner. What a gruesome thing. Uh, it's my airplane support creature. No, he just brought me some frosted flakes. It's my floor warmer. That's my meat slicer. And we'll end with Gumby. Wait, I thought you two brought it here. All right, very good. And we have our, oh, my God. Let's see. Let's see. Our, Gregory's friend. Let's see. Can you hear us? Oh, man, but we can't hear you. What is? Yeah, I wonder if it's something on my end. Hang on. I'm going to, te I'm going to test this by playing something else on this machine and confirm that I'm getting audio out of this machine. So hang on there for a moment. Dick, you, you continue. Okay, very good. All right, you know, from Guinness Book of World's Record food category, this is quite bizarre. The most grapes caught in the mouth in three minutes. How many grapes? Now, let me see. Is there any size dimension? No. Wow. The grapes were thrown from a distance of 15 feet. Okay. Ashrita Furman caught blank number of grapes in his mouth <clears throat> in three minutes at the Grand Canyon National Park. He caught the grapes from a distance of 15 feet. How many grapes did he catch in his mouth? And, well, we're not jamming bees doing other stuff. What, was there a time frame? Uh, 15 minutes. Uh, oh, I'm uh, sorry, three minutes. I'm saying three minutes. 15, uh, I'll say 30. 30, 80. Um, I'm doing 50. What? Let me let me look up here. Three hundred. You know, it's very funny. Chat room, you're either way above it or way below it. However, Danovan is the closest. Is his mouth stationary? Forty-two. Okay, the answer is. Oh, it says, all right, this guy, oh, wow, that's pretty good, Becky. Arista Fruman caught 182 grapes <laughs> in his mouth in three minutes. Uh, uh, that uh, uh. is 60 a minute. That's one a that's second. A that's more than one a second. 180 would be one a second. Yeah. Um. All right. So now, was he spitting them out? I bet you know you it's, not, it's not clear because that's what people are asking. Yeah, because it uh, takes time to chew them. Yeah. Let me find my. Uh, uh, um. Yeah, okay. All right, we're gonna do match game. Let me give uh, Dennis a call. You want? Is Alex around? I'll call up uh, Alex and say, um, uh, Gregory's friend. Um, oh, it looks like they're gone. <laughs> Let me call up Alex. Okay. And, uh, and, and hopefully, uh, Gregory can work on getting his audio working. He can echo one, two, three is the Skype lady okay. and you can call her to test your microphone. So call echo one, two, three to get your microphone working. When you have your microphone working, we'll talk to you next Saturday.
Okay. But, um... Oh, that's very funny. Magoo said maybe they were dropping them directly down from 15 feet above his mouth. Um, okay, Captain of the Submarine said to the new recruit, I'll send you to the brig if I catch you blanking in the torpedo tube again. Ah. Oh. Uh. Okay, here's the music. The captain of the submarine said to the new recruit, I'll send you to the brig if I catch you blanking in the torpedo tube again. Uh, okay, meditating, skinny dipping, twerking, peeing, urinating, sleeping, eating grapes, showering. Uh, okay, Jamma B, you said, Did if I camera, catch you. My camera went off again. Ah. Oh, okay. So I, I, said, I said planking. Planking? Planking. Okay. I think you can give yourself a buzzer. Oh, okay. I don't think anybody's in my And Alex is with Dennis us. Is, oh, okay. Very good. Uh, Alex, the captain and Dennis. You can say your answer out loud. Okay. The captain of the submarine said to the new recruit, I'll send you to the brig if I catch you blanking in the torpedo tube again. Oh, peeing. Peeing. You got matches. Alex, you said sleeping. You got matches. I said sleeping. And Jamma B, you said planking. You blank. Yeah, I got. I got. Oh, go. planking. Yeah, have to planking. go. My my camera's off for some reason. I got to go. I turned it on and it went back off. It's one of those situations. Uh. <laughs> Technology. Uh, Twiggy. Oh, you have to. You have to be old to remember these people. Okay, remember Twiggy was like a very thin fashion model, became a uh, a movie star. Twiggy said a canary built a nest in one of my old bras, and Dolly Parton said, "Well, a blank built a nest in one of my old bras." All right, so that's a pretty good question. Twiggy said a blank, uh, a canary built a nest in one of my old bras. And Dolly Parton, you know Dolly Parton, she said a blank built a nest in one of my bras. Paradoctal eagle stalk. Eagle, Sesame Street, Bird, Albatross, Platypus, Ostrich, Emu, wow, uh, <laughs> Construction Crew, uh, Elephant, Ostrich, Albatross, Big Bird, a California Conda. All right, Alex, we're going to start with you. Twiggy said, uh, Robin built uh, a nest in one of my old bras. Dolly Parton said, yeah, well, a blank build a nest in one of my old bras. An ostrich, you got matches? Uh, Jamma B, you said? Penguin. My camera, my camera, it turns on and then turns back off. Okay. Penguin. Uh, pa and, I, and I don't think I got it. No, you didn't. Uh, well, the penguin, I said penguins make big nests. Okay, that's all right. We we believe you. Uh, I said eagle. I got some matches. Uh, Charlie, I don't know. Charlie, we're going to take the camera down. Right, Hang on. Too. And you, Dennis said eagle also. Um, Helen said the new night cream smells like fresh flowers. The problem is when I wake up in the morning, I'm covered with blank. Helen said the new night cream smells like fresh flowers. Problem is when I wake up in the morning, I'm covered in blank. Charlie, you're not going to come up. I'm going to take the camera off. Okay, let me slowly 
find the cable to this. Okay. Well, let's see how far this goes. I think I have enough. Yeah, I have enough to take it off. Um, swarm of bees. Hi, oh, a lot of bees. Oh my God, do do, do d. Wow. Uh, Jeremy B, we're going to start with you. Night cream smells like fresh flowers. The only problem is when I wake up in the morning, I'm covered with bouquets. Bouquets. Mm. Uh, okay, Dennis. I said do. Covered with do. Well, we got do do. And also because I said do. And. Alex, you said, oh, you have company? Oh, Alex can't, uh, Alex can't answer. Is that your boss, Alex? Did you have an answer to that? Bees. Okay, you got matches. Okay, very good. Uh, um, all right. Let me get another one here. You know, the good thing about my camera not being on yeah. I don't have to worry about spelling. Uh, okay. Okay. The nurse said to the psychiatrist, your next patient thinks she's ice cream because she has a cone on her blank. Okay. The nurse said to the psychiatrist, your next patient thinks she's ice cream because she has a cone on her blank. I am going to go against the chat room and write something different. Mm -hmm. I think she's ice cream because she has a cone on her blank. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I got tons of matches. Uh, we have so many matches. Nose, belly button. Nose, butt, a lot of butt. No, a cone, uh, a cone on the face. Boob. I thought everybody's going to say boob. Um, on her head. Becky said so. She'd be a cone head. Uh, okay. Uh, the nurse said to the psychiatrist, "Your next patient thinks she's ice cream because she has a cone on her blank." A lot of matches for me. I said a uh, cone on her head. Uh, Alex, you said a cone on your nose. Yep, West Side Story. Oh, West Side Story and Dennis. Charlie, you're going to bring the camera down. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera down. T turn the overhead light just a little brighter. Um, and Jamma B, you said she has Everyone a cone knows on the proper where place to wear a cone is on your head. Okay, you had it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to, we've done it a little more than an hour, so we're going to meet our mascot. Uh, ta -da! Charlie the dog. Oh, my God, Charlie. Oh, my God. Charlie, you want to show your stitches? Oh, my God. Oh, look at this boy. Look at, oh, he's a happy dog. Oh, my God, am I on camera, Dickie? Is this the same as being in the chair? <laughs> look at me. I don't care. I got, look at my show, my teeth. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Look at I'm kissing everybody. This is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> is this doggy? All right. Okay, Charlie. Oh, I got to put this back up. It is so funny because, let me just turn to them. Um, while they were, Charlie had to go in two times, okay? Once they have to take blood and they needed x-rays and they, anyway. So when the nurse brought Charlie down from the lab, she said, this is the happiest dog we've ever seen. We had him on the x-ray machine, holding him in place. His tail is wagging. She said, then we flipped him over, x-rays, other side. His tail is wagging. Um 
anyway, so that that's Charlie. And all, Charlie loves women. He's rescued by women. So even the surgeon was a woman. So I think he was very happy about that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll have our, our celebrity guest next week. Meanwhile, this has been regular, old-fashioned, Giz Fizz. Regular, old-fashioned Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dickie Bartolo, Dennis Wonderlin, Charlie the Dog, Jammer B, Beatmaster, Alex Gumpel, Scooter X, Becky, Myra Joyce, Dr. Mom, Magoo, Geek Wannabe, Demos, Morgus, ZX, Loke, uh, Travis MC, Rufus, Is One, Bill in Michigan, Redacted, Stooge, Nert, Oh, Salty Corn Dog, oh my God, Mr. Dave, Cruising Classic, Adam24, Ookaroo, and not just for turtles anymore. <laughs> Timing. Uh, all right, so chat room. I don't know where it's, I don't know, nothing uh, uh, more about Giz Fizz's future, except it will continue and it'll be Wednesday, like 8 or 8.30 East Coast time. And there'll be a lull of probably two weeks uh, for the holidays, okay? Yeah, yeah, no, normal, but, normal Christmas time break. Yeah, exactly, okay? But the next four Saturdays, it's like old time week. Um, Jeremy B., thank you. Alex, good seeing thank you. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Dick. Chat room, thank you, John. Okay. And Gregory, thank you wherever you are. Yes, we got your video working. That's, you know, we got halfway there. We got video, yeah. And by next week, okay. we'll have both video and audio, and we'll have a chat room celebrity of the week. Perfect. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. There's Lee. Oh, somebody didn't turn off Micah's... Uh...